time to get some common sense coming from Craig. Craig is the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. Good to see you there. This week, you are out with a bit of a warning about estate planning and the importance of letting someone in your family know what you are storing digitally on your computer or smartphone. If you have people that you love and they love you back, then you absolutely know you have to have an estate plan. And most people do an adequate job of planning for the home family heirlooms, investment in bank accounts, but what it comes down to taking care and managing someone's digital footprint, what we call digital assets, we're finding that Americans are consistently coming up short. You know, it's become the norm to store our financial records in smartphones, computers, tablets, the cloud. Even for most people, all the payments are now made digitally. Photos, videos, you know, that's the type of content that is no longer printed and cataloged. The photos and videos are also digitally stored. So the truth is, if you don't want your social media accounts to live on long past you do, if you don't want to have your heirs locked out of any of your financial accounts, and in particular, you want those items that have tremendous sentimental value, photos and videos to not be lost, then you absolutely have to incorporate digital assets as a part of your estate plan. This is a critical topic, Craig, because many people are using online accounts now. Maybe it's time to start listing some of those accounts because what are the obstacles when someone passes away? Well, let's understand the obstacles and then discuss how to overcome them. You know, the first obstacle is passwords. Some passwords, like the one to your laptop or tablet, that can probably be bypassed with professional help, but others, like those that require dual authentication, data encryption, that's gonna be practically impossible to crack. And then there's data privacy laws. Generally speaking, federal data privacy laws prohibit the sharing of online information content from the service provider with anybody that isn't listed in the user agreement. So it's incumbent upon everyone to meet with an estate attorney, an estate planner, who can go ahead and incorporate digital asset provisions, AKA create a digital executor. And then once that's done, I think everyone needs to create an inventory of their digital footprint and store those websites, store those URL addresses with their estate planning documents. People should also consider using a password password manager to digitally store all their usernames and passwords so that they're properly maintained. And then we should look to add legacy contacts into any of the user agreements that provide for such. I can't emphasize enough how important incorporating digital assets are to protect your digital footprint through your estate plan. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. If you want to learn more, you can go out to our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.